Ted Cruz and Bernie Sanders scored small victories this weekend with potentially big implications in the race for president. Cruz picked up 34 delegates in Colorado, inching closer to Donald Trump. Sanders won the Wyoming caucuses yesterday and has now beaten Hillary Clinton in seven of the last eight states. Clinton remains far ahead in the delegate count. The next big contest is New York, one week from Tuesday. Here's Juliana Goldman. We would go to Nathan's. It was the battle of the boroughs today. Bernie Sanders grabbed hot dogs on Brooklyn's Coney Island. <laughs> Hillary Clinton visited several churches in Queens. So I am humbly asking for your support. She needs a victory on April 19th to halt Bernie Sanders' winning streak. While the delegate math is still stacked against him, he's flushed with cash and showing no signs of exiting. I believe that we have a real path to victory. Sanders may have backed away from questioning whether Clinton is qualified to be president, but he's not backing down. Maybe her judgment is not quite as high as it should be. I don't have any uh, anything negative to say about him. I expect to be the nominee. Even as Sanders' aides predict a contested convention, Clinton says her sights are set on the Republicans, who are facing the far more likely open convention scenario. Sanders did find an unlikely ally today in Donald Trump, who was in Rochester railing against the emphasis on delegates over voters. So I watch Bernie, he wins. They always say he has no chance. Why doesn't he have a chance? Because the system is corrupt. And it's worse on the Republican side. Because I'm up millions of votes on Cruz. Millions. Y'all have been in part of something incredible. Ted Cruz's Colorado sweep this weekend shows that he's long understood the importance of securing supporters as delegates. Trump's convention strategist says he's not playing fair. You see the, tact the Gestapo tactics and the scorched earth tactics. Gestapo tactics? How about that stupid Boston Globe? It's worthless. Sold for a dollar. In another twist to this roller coaster campaign, today's Boston Globe printed its front page satirically imagining what it called a troubling future under a Trump presidency. The fake stories range from Trump starting mass deportations to financial markets sinking as a result of trade wars. Now, Hillary Clinton got some help from President Obama today when it comes to that FBI investigation into her private email server. Jeff, in an interview with Fox News, he downplayed the classified information that was in her emails, saying she has not jeopardized national security. Juliana Goldman, thank you.